How's that coffee taste? Was that the millennial pause? Is that what that was? Did we millennial pause? You know, uh, I read about that, and that <laughs> now now that I've read about it, it's one of those things you can't stop thinking about, right? I, I think, but here's the thing. I, I also think, I hate the idea that it bothers people because, like, you don't, like, listen, I talk fast and I talk a lot. We know mm. that. People have heard that heard me, you know, have seen this thing or have met me know that. Like, take a second. Like, the idea that, like, take yeah. doing, like, a before you begin, it's people like, that's driving me nuts. Like, how does that, how No, that I mean, like, that that's what they teach you in 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 the arts, you know. It's like that's what they teach you in music. They, I mean, when I, you know, the the little bit of acting that I've done, you know, that's what yeah. they teach you, right? It's like take a minute, right? Take a second, just take a second. Yeah. A second, yeah. Uh, so. yeah. Hi, hi, Andrew. How you doing, Brandon? Good. Can you start that timer? I would love to. Let's see yeah, if it works. We, we snuck in a new subject <laughs> at the beginning accidentally. We did, and that, that's okay, you know, because I like. Uh, one of the things I like is that sometimes pre, pre-recording we plan out a topic or we just ask each other if we have a topic, but then we never really get to it. That's totally I mean, it, fine. It's been it's been it's it's a rare commodity that <laughs> we'll get. To, in the first five minutes, if we get to an idea, it's it's this is us just trying to figure out where McDonald's is and driving <laughs> to McDonald's. Exactly. Then, like, the next ten is us flying towards McDonald's as fast as we can. Yeah, I mean it's a good thing that we have you know, several thousand listeners at this point uh, that can help us out, so. <laughs> they, they are, and, yep, there's so many of them, and, and they are interested in our point of view, and I'm so glad that, that, that I, I mean, the question about this one is, does this one go on the resume or not? Like, that's that's a real, mm. real big, do you want to pe- people to know? Do they want to know that you run a little lo-fi podcast yeah. and that, you're not doing a lot for it, but I mean, that's one of the big questions I think when doing yeah. art is what goes on the resume and what doesn't go on the resume. That's a good question. Um, I think, I mean, just off the cuff, I think that, uh, I mean, Yonko itself, y- Yonko LLC, that's definitely on the resume for me. Yeah, I, I like, feel like that that one goes on the resume. Yeah, I mean, so I think like this might sort of be a, a subcategory under Yonko and maybe it doesn't necessarily have to be specifically on the resume. Um, at least at this point, I mean, you know, once we get a million listeners, then it might be nice to have on the recipe, uh, on, the, on the recipe. Yeah, on the recipe. resume. Uh, <laughs> how do you decide what's on your resume and what's not on your resume? <clears throat> when was the last time you had to do a resume? Honest question. Um, so, <laughs> actually, kind of weird timing. Uh, I, I was actually working on it the last couple of weeks. So. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. Should yeah. I not bring that up? Is that a secret? <laughs> um, it's, it's, um, it's, it's low key. Okay. Yeah. No, I understand. But, I mean, that's something yeah. you should be you should be tuning. It is nice. I do think it's good to work on the resume because yeah. you sometimes you'll forget that like you did anything. Yeah. And maybe if if you ever have the <clears throat> I don't do anything ever vibe in your heart, uh, it's good to do it to go. Like, oh yeah, I did do that. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot I did that. So I think like that it can be a nice pick me up. Uh, I I I agree. Yeah. It's been years since I've worked on my. I like I don't. I just forgot. I just. I yeah. feel like the, every time I do it, it's always a rush, and it's always like, okay, what did I do? Just write anything down. Write anything down. Yeah, well, and there's there there is the danger like of just putting too much, but I think I think it's in one sense that's kind of good, you know, just to get it all all there. And you're right, like that that was actually one of the uh, one of the fun things about looking back, you know, is like, oh yeah, I remember like 15 years ago that was that was a cool thing that I did, you know. Yeah. Um, and it is, you know, it's sort of like a like a um, an old school Facebook, I guess, <laughs> of, uh, <clears throat> you that's know, looking oldest, at. That's the oldest thing that's ever been said. By, by <laughs> that's amazing. It's, it's like, face, you know, resumes. It's like your Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, well, the, the thing is like, I've never been. So, I, I mean, the thing, I think I've said this before, but like, I mean, if it wasn't for, you know, music and art, like I, I would definitely be off social media. Uh, I, I would be more than happy to. <laughs> Um, but, uh, the, 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 the one thing that I, I, that I haven't really been good about, and I probably should is like the, the LinkedIn profile, um, because that's really, that really is supposed to be your resume. That's supposed to be professional social media. Right. Yeah. And, uh, I really haven't like, 
you know, <laughs> done that beyond the basic stuff. <laughs> I'll be honest. I do not have a LinkedIn. Uh, yeah. I feel weird because like, I feel like most jobs I've ever gotten, I showed up and they were like, cool, <laughs> we need a body. And I was like, yeah, I, yeah. I fit that. That's my resume is a body. <laughs> I'm like, Let's go do it. Like, well, it, it is surprising. Like, um, there, there, I, I feel like there are actually very few jobs that, that I, that I have had that I've actually applied to, <laughs> you know, it's, yeah, totally it, get that. yeah, I mean like that, that's like, I think that's one of the weird things about the arts is that, um, you know, yeah, I mean, you could, you could kind of say nepotism. Um, no, it's, you can a hundred percent say nepotism. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, but I think it also kind of goes, it's, it's not always ne as nefarious as nepotism. I think it's, it's more like, okay, we need somebody tomorrow and we're going to call as many people as we can, you know? Yeah. And, and the first person that says, yes, you're going to get the job. It's like, I, mean, I feel like, especially in the arts, maybe it's another stuff too. That old uh, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Yeah. It's <laughs> like the, the most true. I was thinking about this recently is like, there are, there were shows I just did on a whim that like changed my life. Mm -hmm. And like, um, like that's that's like I I met my wife because of a show I wasn't sure I wasn't gonna work on. It was she wasn't mm -hmm. sure she was gonna work on. I know you shouldn't meet that way. Uh, I'm against what I did, but it turned out okay, so I get to pull it off. Um, you mean like you mean at work or? Yeah, well, it's sort of yeah. like work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it is uh, it is weird. Like, like it's also like, it is interesting how much. like chance is just involved in theater and I, I it, yeah. and especially in the arts I think it might be a good thing to remember that like put your name out there a bunch because like so much of it is uh you have no it has nothing to do with how good you are it's they need one person taller and one person sh shorter and they only have one shirt that they only have one shirt <laughs> that is this character's so I'm sorry you know yeah. that goes surprisingly higher like once you get to union and stuff i perhaps it's all different but a lot of it is just like yeah well that's that's you now so you kind of have to you have to roll the dice over and over again and hope for something yeah. good to happen yeah because i think i think at a certain level um there's there's a lot of people who do a lot of good work mm -hmm. um and so, you know, if you're sitting in an audition, there's like a, a hundred or a thousand people that are equal talent, you know, then where, 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 do you, where's, where do you make the decision? I mean, you can't hire all thousand people, you know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, so it's just one of those, <clears throat> you just, and also like, you just, I feel, unfortunately, like working in the arts is such a gamble. Like it's just, it's just, it just has to be. And, and it's, it's closer to gambling than um, you want to admit, because if you want to make a living at it, like for real, for real, and like that, you want it to be like your money, which it's my money and it's your money. It's incredibly boring. It's like, <laughs> it's like uh, those uh, card players or the, the blackjack players who figured out how to like scan the casinos. But when you broke it down, they were making less than minimum wage. Mm. Like it's exactly that. It's yeah. The set. It's it's it's. You're making. If you put it, if you put your hours in, yeah, yeah, there's some big jackpots and you figured it out. But for the most part, you're just you're just there, getting a penny, taking a penny, getting a penny, and then eventually you get two pennies, and then you put them on top of each other, and you go, that's a profit. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I I totally agree, and I think like that's <clears throat> that's one of the things that's always been interesting is like. You know, because I think I think sometimes um, people wonder, like, you know, okay, you know, if if you get paid a couple hundred bucks, you know, for a gig or something like that, it's like that sounds like a lot of money, you know, for a few hours, you know, but and it is, it is, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, 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 um, <clears throat> but but it's not, it's not like it's not like you're working a forty-hour week at that wage, you know. Yeah. That's, no, I think that's no. what it comes down to. There's also this blind cost that a lot of people don't see, which is like gas yeah. and parking. Yeah. And yeah. A lot, it is, I, I will, you know, it, there are gigs that will feed you. Yeah. But A, which is dope, but they don't always feed you. And B, sometimes you don't want to eat that gross bar slash wedding food. Ew. Right. 
Oh yeah. God. I so when I worked mascot work, they gave I never ate it, but they gave us stadium food, right? Uh-huh. And there were people who would eat stadium food every single time they were there. And I'm like, mm-hmm. oh God. Like <laughs> just well, we got just just what well, what and it was just like what they had like left over, which is cool. Yeah. I, I respect that life. But could yeah. you imagine going to work and right before just eating a bunch of scrambled eggs? Right, exactly. Like stadium style scrambled eggs. That was a <laughs> punishment. Yeah. Um, so so is the season over? Is that oh yeah, we're done. We're done. We we got okay. all the way to the finals. I guess you can find out and screw me over. Uh, I'm working one more gig for them. Yep. Uh, and then afterwards, you know, I did do the thing where I went, this is, I'm a young man. And uh, here are all my ideas. And I, I hope that that will, it's also one of those things that you get, you got to send them your ideas. If they ignore every single one, it doesn't, your feelings don't get hurt. But if they take a few, you say thank you. And you yeah. hopefully uh, <clears throat> move up a little bit. I mean, I don't know. It's it, It's been a interesting and growing situation but it's also i don't know what to do with it does that make sense yeah sure like like, uh yeah i don't know if i want to be a mascot i I could be a mascot for the rest of my life i'll do it but i don't know if i want to start that at the age i'm at i know i know the old adage of uh uh yeah, the best time to start is 20 mm. years ago. The second best time to start is right now. Mm. Uh, but then at the same time, you don't, you don't want to see the grizzled old mascot. You know, I <laughs> uh, started when I was kind of later in life, moved up. <laughs> I'm wearing two knee pads, threw out my shoulder when I, uh, <laughs> you know, I fought it. I fought a drunk. But yeah, it's still, I love it. I love it, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it, it sounds like just from like the stories you've, you know, told and the stories you've shared. I mean, it's it sounds like it's been uh, a really good experience. And I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you have to decide like where you want to go with it and if you want to keep having that experience. It's, um, it, it's a, uh, it, it's interesting because I think that. <clears throat> sorry, okay, um, it's interesting because um, I, I think because of that idea of gambling, like even. Mm-hmm. Um, even even with the mascot, I know the the way you told me like how you got oh, the job and everything. Yeah, yeah, was was in a way just kind of by, by chance, you know. But but I think I think because of that like whole idea like with uh within the arts and stuff. Um, I I I constantly have the struggle of like um being happy with what I've accomplished, uh, and and being unhappy with what I've not accomplished. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, I hear you, dude. It's yeah. a, it's it's a struggle to try to be, and like, no matter, you shouldn't you shouldn't compare yourself to other people. That's what we tell ourselves. Yeah, exactly. Or that, or that, that's what I tell my students, right? <laughs> and and like, you shouldn't do it. I almost feel like you shouldn't even bother telling students. You're like, you're gonna do it. You're yeah. gonna do it. I do it. Maybe do it. And then take a moment to recenter yourself. But like, look how you can't not look how far someone else has gotten. It's impossible yeah. to not feel that. Um, yeah. Well, and and like, there, and there's a couple couple of things that hit me really hard. Like, it's it's really more, to be honest. Like, it's, I, I think it's more when I compare myself to uh, people that I that I know. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, like there there was one, I, I can't believe I'm admitting this because I sound, I don't know. I just, I, I hate, I hate feeling this way, but you know, I have to say it because, you know, I just, I have to be honest, like, I, I feel like it'll probably be therapeutic to get it out there, you know, but like, but I, I hate, I'm, pre- I'm prefacing this by saying, I hate the way that I, that I feel no, when yeah, I say I this, that. you know, but like, um, someone that I went to or someone that I knew, like, uh, and, and it's been at least like 10 or 15 years ago, like we were hanging out, like in the same circle when I was living up in New York and stuff like that. Um, last year. I pulled up, pulled up my phone one morning, and decided, and, to, hurt. Huh? And decided to hurt yourself. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, un- unintentionally. So, like, I, the the first thing that was on my news was uh, this guy had gotten a Grammy, 
and uh and i it, it was this weird weird mix of like feelings like i'm so proud of him but i'm also so jealous you know that, yeah and uh it was just this like really and and again like i i hate that i am feeling this way and like i can't believe i'm admitting this right now you know but <laughs> i mean it, it's 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 normal to feel that way yeah. and like it's you have to it's something I've I've been thinking about a lot is like you know the the negative voices so that you're not supposed to listen to and yada yada yada. I, I think that's that's bad because I think that's you too. And I think you can I think the better way to deal with it that I've been trying to do is to acknowledge that that is me too. And that mm -hmm. is that is something that I need to I know this is self helpy, but this is a self helpy one. Sometimes they're fun and bright, sometimes they're a little self helpy. Yeah. Uh that is upside of me that i need to embrace as well and I, instead of being like you're an idiot just be like yo i disagree but you got some very interesting ideas thank you for sharing the negative side of me i think it's a much more realistic view than to be like just push the vo bad voices down don't listen to them you have to like you know embrace your shadow self or something have a conversation with it yeah yeah have a conversation with it note it and just be like and be a complex human being you're allowed to be yeah which we all are this is a this is a real yeah yeah we're gonna send this one in to get what is our podcast emmys the our sound <laughs> that's right um okay cool good talk good talk